Thank you for taking me to the hospital. Having Nicholas and Lucky hovering over me was just... I mean, I know they mean well, but you know. Yes, you need time to figure out where to stand. Exactly. Nicholas brought Cameron and Jake by yesterday. Broke my heart to see him. Made me feel like such a bad mom. Well, I went over to Audrey's while you were in Kelly, and Cam and Jake wanted me to give you these. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at them. Oh. See? They think you're a pretty great mom. Thank you. Until I find out who the father is, I feel like my life is on hold. That's why I just needed to get this paternity test done so soon. I just need to find out and move on. You want this baby to be yours. Yes, I do. Okay, so what if it's Lucky's? Won't change how I feel about Elizabeth. It might change how Lucky feels about Elizabeth. Look, the history between them is what has kept them together for so long, right? And Lucky, well, he says that he's let that go. And that, none of that, none of that matters because Elizabeth is committed to one thing right now, and that's taking care of her children. That's it. And you, you want this child to be yours because of that? Yes. Case. Because maybe it could be a bridge to bring us together. I, I don't know. Look, look at you and Sonny. What? Well, I, I know you don't have a, a romantic involvement with him, but you do share Christina, right? And even with all your differences, you've been able to peacefully coexist together. Listen to me, Sonny and I are not a situation to emulate on any level. Maybe, maybe not. But your relationship has, at the very least, evolved to the point to where you can <laughs> defend him against murder charges. Oh, you heard about that? Yeah, I did. Despite my tendency to be mired in my own drama, I still feel a responsibility to look out for the people that I love. Six months ago, Molly came out here to remind Molly me of that. Molly is a what? perfect example. Rick and I barely speak to each other. The bottom line, if Elizabeth's child ends up to be mine, we'll be in, in each other's lives forever. And I don't know, maybe, hopefully, when some time has passed, she'll see that we can be good together. I apologize for my tardiness. An attempt was made to enter the Brinificent One's office. Hey, Coleman. Being an North Soda on my dad, please. Interval for eluded capture by... by jumping off the roof of the building two stories. <laughs> That's one hell of a leap. Yeah. The old friends, huh? Look, I, I, I will not toast to your your choice to stumble down a path of destruction. Suit yourself. I don't think John wants to talk about it. No words are necessary. His deportment shouts revenge, and he won't hear any reason. I, I fear that he will ultimately destroy not Mr. Sir, but himself. No, Sonny, Sonny killed Johnny's sister. I understand him wanting to put everything on the line to make Sunny pay. Sunny's not hard to like, but my history with him, what I'd even call a, a friendship, I make a point of setting that aside when I go to work. It's like my mom always says, love the sinner, hate the sin. Well, your mother's a wise woman. <laughs> but it's not always as easy as it sounds, is it? If I had to take down my dad, if I had to go after him the way we're going after Sonny, I don't think I could do it. Well, I can't say I blame you, but I know of Luke Spencer I like, especially the part about him being Lulu's father. Sonny, father or no father, he's just got to be stopped. I agree. What the hell are you doing here? Believe me, it's not my choice. The feds are putting together a task force. You two are volunteered. What's the target? Well, the three of us are going to be working together, trying to shut down a mob in Port Charles. 